Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Now, it looks like Harry's idea to get free PR from the royal family has fully boomeranged on him. Only a fortnight back, some newspapers confirmed that Harry was snubbed before the 10th anniversary celebrations of Invictus in London. Now, if this will happen or not only PM Modi can decide, but then, you know the say you make your bed, and you got to lie in it. In fact, New York Post wrote, Prince Harry is to make the trip to London without any senior members of the royal family present for the Invictus Games UK event. To all our calls of celebrating and showing solidarity, no human touch or concern movement from the palace at all. And, ah geez, what a surprise, it seemed that the relations between Harry and his family could not have been more spoiled. As if all these security concerns really made it impossible for Harry to come to the event. Oh well, I'm sorry I didn't know better, after all this stuff, Harry just couldn't look as if he was trying to make the relations with his family worsen. But, even in spite of all those security concerns, Harry is coming to the event. Moreover, no matter if rumors are valid or not, it seems that even Harry had to think about cancelling the trip due to safety concerns after losing taxpayer-funded security. And, by the way, I wouldn't like Meghan Markle to come back with him either. Or she really has no reason to come here? Objk the biggest part of people agree, although there are lots of comments, what's that strange attitude to Meghan which doesn't even allow her to come back to compromise with Harry? But in fact, no one really welcomes not even him here. But at least, people are smart enough to understand that he actually has some duties to Invictus. He is needed to come back, although he didn't do anything serious there. Well, seriously, he at least has a suitable reason to come. Harry, and you too, Meghan, you should figure it out that the reputation of both of you is damaged, and not only by the British press. Now Americans also don't want to have such comrades here. No one would take their bloody titles seriously up here in the US, so cosplaying royals in America means nothing, and now Harry is planning on returning to Britain for his first real job since the turn of the year. But I'm a bit dubious about his ability. First of all, we all perfectly understand that without Harry's participation, establishment of Invictus was completely impossible. Of course, even with his participation, maybe, maybe the idea was his, but let me say that's even a little hard to believe. It was started up by King Charles and the Prince and Princess of Wales. And, of course, it's the one he gave to his son, so. Invictus, it's a company. Built to help, in the most basic of terms, veterans. The mission of Invictus is very noble, and I support Invictus Games strongly. But, tell me, since Meghan Markle came into the picture, what have they turned it into throughout the old days? There are so many veterans who are so truly sick and tired of hearing about this Invictus Games. People are just getting Jean Race S.E. Est Sente Vilazin E.T. up of Harry and Meghan. Many of them found it quite insulting about Harry and Meghan actually using the Invictus Games as their third Commonwealth tour, and winning leverage publicity. And a 000 pound of a wardrobe, Meghan Markle insists. Well, obviously, an Invictus organization is missing out on that money. That's such a slap in the face to all us Real Invictus followers. Well, you looked that up, what would you find? There are no interviewed veterans even properly. Even there are no pictures of what they have seen in terms of action. It is all about where Harry and Meghan were, what she was wearing, how much it cost, which designer designed it. Ugh. God. Honestly, it is the absolute antithesis of what Invictus is supposed to be. However, as it seems, just like everything Harry and Meghan get near, they have the inverse Midas touch as well, everything they touch turns to garbage. Well, in that case, it is exactly the case with Invictus now, exactly, the organization's reputation goes down. Some veterans actually started a strike, they didn't go to the games. Some of the people that gave their money are fuming. They said that that is it, 
they would not give any of their money anymore and would not support any other Paralympic Games in the UK or US before there is no official Harry and Meghan as the patrons of Invictus. And honestly, I would not blame them honestly. I think that Harry and Meghan should be kicked out, literally. Maybe they can get someone else in there to replace Harry and Meghan that is actually in it for the money and fame. What a pair of scammers. Just as I thought that Mike and Zara are looking to take over from me. Now, they could make reasonable profits, but at least they would be way more respectful and honest, too. At the very least, Mike and Zara Tyndall would be much better representatives of what royalty is supposed to be, even though they're not even working royals. Invictus is really all about allowing Harry and Meghan, though, to always have to be front and center. And here is William, Prince of Wales, who has given a million of his own. He got it from a court settlement from one of the British tabloids, and he gave the whole amount to Invictus. Harry hasn't donated a thing. He just claims all kinds of expenses back from Meghan Markle and himself. And I won't even mention the rest. I mean, just talking about Harry's sense of responsibility and dedication, obviously, he cannot compare with his big brother. Somebody should be looking out for the veterans from Harry dipping into their profits. I mean, all the profits from Invictus are to go directly to the veterans. They do that with any charity they've been attached to. They're always skimming off the top. And when they first went back to America, Megan got the part in that elephant film. And she said that the money that she made, she was going to give back to the Elephant Foundation. Well, that was five years ago. And they say they haven't received a cent from the money that Meghan promised them. That's exactly what they do, though, this is what Harry and Meghan do. They are going to take this money on behalf of charity, and then they're pocketing it because they are a couple of selfish grifters. The other one is, that traitor surely is not to be representing injured veterans. There's no welcome for bad people like that. The last time Megan showed up at an Invictus Games event in Canada, she upset everybody when she showed up in a private jet, of course, wearing all these different outfits and insulted the anthem too. And she spends thousands of dollars on herself with silly ski outfits. So, when is this organization going to pull up its britches and get real? End of the road. Who's going to I guess that is what Harry partly got, hence risking everything to get his family involved in this. As everybody had lost faith in Invictus, he needs a bright spot for this. But this is not working. What I mean is, it's basically all about them and the organization. And how they would love to play a victim. But it's up to the game, they're finished. Harry himself first left his own family, so there is really no right to turn to his family for help. I cannot, for the life of me, think why Harry would believe anyone is going to roll out the red carpet for him and Meghan right now. After all, he treated his family, and especially his late grandparents horridly, Harry has this coming. Sure. Also, all those little fits and nastiness towards his family, and anybody else in the past, well, we swept it under the rug. But this time, it's taken far too public that we all know who he really is and what he is doing. So, no, nobody's going to be welcoming him in the UK. I wonder whether he will come this time round and really bother us a lot of whining about security arrangements. Probably. Harry's always so concerned with the thought that he should look more important than he really is. He is a desperate man for security. But, honestly, when he has come for royal engagements or when he's staying at royal homes, he's always been just as full with the security detail. It's never been when he has been thrown out of full security detail. I mean, if he wants to come in and out doing his own thing, then that's his business. His security is not paid for by the taxpayers. That's one thing. It's completely separate. If he's going to extract himself from his role and his duties, then he's also going to terminate the benefits that he got from the taxpayers. That's excessive. Although impatient, Harry still receives protection, although it is not of the same order of magnitude as his brother's or his father's subsequently. One might argue that, if genuinely fascinated by security, he was perfectly prepared to keep his horse's mouth shut. 
But, let's be clear, this isn't about security. Harry and Meghan desire IPP status, as well as licensing to kill wherever they go, to do anything they want to do and not have to face the consequences. If security garnered interest or any, I think that would be a great extra. As the rest of the planet may. They always lie to get what they want, to further their interests over others, they couldn't care less about privacy. If they valued privacy, they'd strive for it, not actively seek it out at every turn. So, before Harry mentioned he felt unsafe in England, what about the security for anywhere else I visit, the movie premiere I went to in Jamaica, or the one I am about to take to Nigeria, just to name some examples? Sage around the world, but dis England where he's from, does that make any sense? He's concerned for his safety in London, not in Nigeria. It appears it's not security that is the real issue, but Harry is scared of being pelted with tomatoes that were likely to be thrown at him in London, as well he deserves. He may want to think about putting on a helmet to protect himself in advance. There are few things Harry or Meghan don't seem to believe they are entitled to. As far as Harry is concerned, the last time I recall, he left a hotel in a hurry and left two books. It seems like one of the most extensive expectations to have while contributing so little. Let's have them stay in a two-star hotel without air conditioning. In all likelihood, Megan will have the notwithstanding paying for everything, with an over-the-top luxury. It would be appropriate to stop watching Harry and Megan. Unsure looks like it wise whether we should invite anyone from the Commonwealth. It seems enough people have gotten a good look at both Megan's and Harry's faces. Every time Megan's cat appears on screen, she expects to be compensated, expectedly treated with the artfulness of royalty. Harry's actions these days are, well honestly, to follow her. It seems that if they do not automatically receive whatever they want, they intend to sue. It appears Harry has overlooked all the times he was supported in the UK whenever he had an event to host negligently. In all probability, we won't be able to afford to supply Harry and Meghan with security around the clock, constantly allowing the couple to travel. The extended family would be responsible for security at big gatherings. Even so, if now and then Harry and Meghan come to the UK to do whatever, they will have to pay for it themselves. In all likelihood, Harry expects everyone in the UK to go to the Invictus Games with him. The distance between the royal family and the prince should be vast. What's in Netflix is a big draw for Harry and Meghan, and they seem to have depleted their mystery footage already. What if they use images of the royals filmed with his father? If Harry does not see the senior royal's face in the adverts, he gets very upset. What was going to happen in that case was anybody's guess. He is going to have the media say that his family does not care about him, they don't care about him, and all the rest of it cry cry cry. I do hope that when the time comes, the rest of the community will prove solid in their backing of the royal family and that no person will waste an ounce of sympathy on that disloyal Harry. While certain senior members are battling serious health conditions, they had more important work to perform than that. Is it not reasonable to wish that Harry be sacked as their spokesman? He and Meghan will be required to sever ties with the entity entirely. I imply, in the meantime, Meghan and Harry have butchered the phrase Invictus and now created Ingriptus. Harry and Meghan are ridiculous scoundrels, but their lack of shame are astonishing. I seriously doubt they will receive the warm welcome they expect regardless of their destination. It is troubling about Harry's responsibility in Invictus, who wants a traitor like him around these courageous soldiers? For Meghan, dreaming about the next luxury handbag or five-star resort, only the most excellent will suffice for her. They are more concerned with benefiting themselves than assisting others. It is sad for the Invictus organization to disassociate itself from Harry and Meghan. It is a more significant disappointment that Harry, who evidently held Invictus earlier, now appears to be fully controlled by his self-centered wife. Regardless of what Meghan plans, or perhaps he realized that, I don't know. But Harry has burned all his bridges, what, is he supposed to go crawling back to his family now? And I think he's way too much of a coward, too arrogant to admit that he's made a colossal mistake in marrying her.
So he's going to act like everything's fine, like he never did anything wrong, and he's going to carry on the same road down, even though it's an incredibly self-destructive path. He sues for the sake of his security, but he doesn't worry about security. I mean, as much is pretty obvious from the way he travels everywhere, whenever he wants. He is only trying to save his skin. But most importantly, he feels spiteful, angry because he didn't get his way, he couldn't force the UK taxpayers to pay his security bill that's a lot more expensive than basically anybody else. I mean, if Prince William goes for a run in Central Park or Princess and goes out with very low security, but Harry, no, he's got to be protected. Harry is also pissed off that he didn't get the diplomatic immunity he wanted. I bet one of the reasons Harry is so determined to get special confidentiality is that he doesn't want some of the stuff coming out, either his own or Meghan Markle's. So many dark, shadowy things happen in their lives, and you know, this ditty matter could trouble Harry too. So he is maybe also trying to distract us from that African Parks charity scandal. I do find it a little bit rich that he can go to Nigeria and talk about how much he loves Africa but can't release one simple statement in support of these Baka people who are suffering some really horrific atrocities right now. I mean, why wouldn't this be a headline? Why wouldn't every single picture be pinned to Harry? And how embarrassing that Harry's not prepared to go back to Britain without top-class security because, heavens, the UK is too hostile for him, but Nigeria? Oh, he's just quite all right there. I mean, there are going to be some dangerous setups that these two create, like perhaps the New York City near catastrophic car chase. Well, at least that's something to look forward to. The only reason Harry says he will not be protected while in the UK is that well, he is afraid there will be lots of booing from angry Brits. Of course, he is aware of the fact that they are mad at him, and Meghan also, and he wouldn't like to face the criticism. They are really very thin-skinned. They just can't take what people want to tell them. Harry has enjoyed every kind of privilege and opportunity to be had in life, and he's wasted them all. I'd almost feel sorry for him if he weren't such a heel. Or he may be afraid to be snubbed on the tenth anniversary of Invictus. Well, with everything he and Meghan have been doing, how could they not snub him at Buckingham Palace? Harry and Meghan sound like everything is owed to them. No, that doesn't owe them anything after everything they've done. Just think about everybody they've hurt. So, of course, they're not going to get the hearing from the royals that they're wanting right now. I mean, maybe she has told Meghan she wouldn't be welcome to the games. I wish. Meghan had no business parading her clothes around when it was supposed to be an activity-centered event where the focus is all about her she's not even supposed to be in there in the first place. I did hear that hundreds of veterans refused to participate if the event was going to be overshadowed by Meghan again. And that's exactly what they needed to do. I mean, they had to leave everything aside, right? They had to put their lives at risk, take risks with mental issues with the military. They survive, they come home, perhaps maimed, but they survive. And now they have the privilege to march behind the so-called former mattress actress in the Wounded Warrior Games? Really, who do they think they are kidding? Meghan is not even royal. I mean, can you even humanly think what would have happened if you had shown up and seen her there in that inappropriate outfit? That's just shocking. I was sitting there when she did it and I couldn't believe it. There was a dozen yards ahead in front of shorts and flip-flops clad veterans, she was prancing. I was a genuinely surprised person, that's hard to believe. I could not conceive of being treated in such a disrespectful manner by her. I don't know what to say, their conduct is just so inappropriate. They should have discovered someone more civilized and clever for the Invictus celebration. She is unworthy of the title and should not even have one. She may go to the beach. As long as Megan boasts, I don't want to donate to Invictus frankly. Invictus has been very generous with Harry and Meghan. Harry should have done without funding the games he set up and compensated for his costs himself. I do feel for the veterans, this is supposed to have been about them. They need to get the focus, and I want to know where Invictus came from. Who is Mike Tyndall as a patron? 
Do all the other soldiers and the CEO not want to leave Harry out of the next Invictus event? Harry has already turned Invictus into a company, making it hard for his family to do enough. I would like the guy to Netflix have a worker come, and I, without the guy who said things, want anyone else in particular. I had a deal with a representative would be very happy and have the veterans I cannot allow military protocol himself. It was not great what he said with Meghan Markle to use, and it's not the end of it all. Harry has publicly said to the whole world how much he thinks the world of himself and does not seem attached to the Britain royal family at all. These ties to have cut them is my best chance written there. I doubt people will want any more from Harry and Meghan and I think it should lock all their memories at the same time. Heiko and Meghan Picketer and turned it into. Let the soldiers do it last does not need her actions with Harry Markle star there. Heiko Hotel first this turns to come to Britain a hotel is booked to come and no room. I guarantee you I a hotel or motel and Harry Mark at the prince and his missus doing a lot of. While King Charles has a rule that Harry must provide prior notice of a stay before utilizing royal property even with a notice period, he can stay at Buckingham Palace. I'd better stay at the palace as long as I notify them 28 days before. Harry is legally allowed to be secure if he provides a sufficient notice period to the government. As I see it, he should overcome this situation to get out more. One of the things that keep coming up with Harry and Meghan is the weirdness about having things be all about them with Invictus. Harry and Meghan need to be completely separate from Invictus. Personally, this has gone too far, it's not in the interests of the veterans. It's always about Meghan, Meghan, Meghan. What is she wearing? People view the Invictus games differently due to the way media has thrown its support behind Harry and Meghan causing financial backers and athletes to lose interest. Don't blame the royals. They will not be doing an event if there is no support behind it. I don't think the circumstances will be appropriate. This was an absurd right time. He is not in the good. Members of the family have donated charity without ever attending an event. After all, it is meant to be Harry's charity. An unwritten rule no one will cross. The obligation to attend the function begins, but it must go unnoticed that no one dares to critic Meghan or Harry snubbing his nose at the race. Shouldn't she, as his wife, be required to be there for everyone to pay respect to, even if it requires sacrificing her respect? My compassion goes out to our veterans, they are the people being betrayed in this. Initially, forgotten, now, outshone by Harry. I hope a lot of the veterans are composing letters to Invictus management at this very moment berating Carparkle's participation. For the most part, I assume most veterans are more humiliated by Harry's involvement with Invictus. They are only using Invictus for their benefit, they are depriving the veterans of millions of money. There's nothing left of the heart of Invictus, our values have dwindled to merely semantics, but the board appears to disagree. Let's get much more input from actual veterans. What are their experiences about how bigotry threatens to tear them apart? How do you go about them? I want to hear their stories, see their lives, and know nothing about Harry and Meghan. It's bad, now it's just frustrating. The Invictus Games should be allocated to someone who actually cares, not to anyone who will steal for financial gain. The veterans are too good for that. They should not have been charged to attend, particularly not for Meghan's clothing or accommodation for which she requests accommodation. All his money should have been protected to the veterans. Harry never gives anything for the games, yet he is now benefiting from the games. I don't know if he'd really play the game if he wasn't paid. Would he help at all if he knew that after spending so much money, he won't get anything back? Of course not. Now Harry wants to claim the game right tack Invictus is his brainchild. This is also a lie. Invictus was founded in 2014, long before Harry even met Meghan Markle. It is a lie. Could Harry now be attempting to claim that the whole entourage is playing with him because they are mostly his family members? It is possible that he will claim he built the whole thing independently. It is no longer a concern of how the grifters are developing the essence of the game as the film progresses. 
Invictus is now about the people seeing Harry and Meghan, not the money spent in support of the veterans. Harry and Meghan have irreparably destroyed this organization. All the other money I donate to veterans organizations goes to the hands of veterans, who have always kept their promise. The first purpose of the game was for Harry and Meghan to use for their glory, the rest was not considered. Invictus once was for wounded veterans to play, but Harry needed a way to promote himself. I thought Harry actually cared about veterans, but he does not. He is too self-absorbed, it sickens me that a grown man believes he needs a large security detail wherever he goes because of his own dissatisfaction. No other adult from a royal family, musician, or world leader does this. Poor Harry believes he is endlessly hated in England. He thought they were still going to pay for the games and support him and his hated wife so that taxpayers would have to pay for it, but they won't. He left his job, he is on his own. He was wrong to believe that the British hand on Harry's shoulder in the picture of little Harry dressed as a soldier points him to the Invictus Games. The royal family doesn't want him, which is fine. Harry should see that coming. How can he honestly believe that after everything he did to his family, they would be willing to hide behind the table and watch him share the table in public? He left like a coward right tack he left over the sea and into the golden world. From the city of death, what did the city do to deserve to break in? Would Harry think they would want him back? That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.